Canada's first astronaut, Mark Carno, has died. And, you know, the the first astronaut for any country is always someone to celebrate. And Mark Carno, um, uh, you know, is, 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 is no exception by far. I mean, he was a, 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 a career astronaut for, for CSA. He went on to be a, a foreign minister, but he, uh, he died this week at age 76 after an illness, which is uh, quite sad. But he flew um, in 1984 on his first flight uh, on the space shuttle uh, Challenger as, um, uh, as I believe a mission specialist, if memory serves, uh, measuring atmospheric pollution and water vapor, according to the New York Times here. And um, and then he flew two more times on Endeavour. Uh, then he ended up leading the Canadian Space Agency in 2001 before shifting into politics for the uh, for the country, which is actually something that other Canadian nationals have done uh, too. Actually, it was one of our, our listeners uh, here that reminded us that, uh, that, that he had passed. And we just thought we would uh, take a minute just to, to recognize uh, uh, Garneau's contributions, not just to Canadian uh, space flight, but space flight uh, as a whole and international cooperation as well. Because without the Canadian Space Agency, much of uh, what NASA and other partners have done in space uh, would have been much more difficult because they helped build uh, the literal tools that then went on to build the space station uh, and, and uh, used on many space shuttle flights too with uh, the original Canada arm.